crypto tax season is upon us. If you have not yet filed your crypto taxes, if you did any crypto trading and you made gains or you made losses, you are going to need to report that on your tax return. And if you don't, you're going to have penalties. Yes, penalties. So I want to share with you in this video a little bit of my journey. That's what I do on Crypto Angel Network and about what it was like for me beforehand, my denial about taxes and, and then what I went through and now where I am now. And I'm, I'm, and I'm going to show you a particular software that I have used now two years in a row. I'm going to share my experience of that with you. And there, there's a number of very good crypto tracking softwares out there, but this one in particular, I hope it's interesting what I share. I'm Joanna Garzilli. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, for joining other fellow crypto angels here. And if you have some sort of insight or a question to ask, something you want to share, please go ahead and help others in the community as well. So briefly, before I share my screen and show you what I did with my crypto taxes in 2021, before I moved to the US, 2005. And um, I somehow I had this idea in my head that because I was British, <laughs> I'm laughing. It's like, oh, besides being British and thinking you're superior to the Americans, see, we didn't study the history that you studied in school about the Brits. I was quite horrified. I was like, oh my gosh, British are terrible. So now I really understand about the Boston Tea Party. See, we, we weren't taught that in school in England. So anyway, I had denial. I had a lot of denial around my um, taxes. I thought, well, I'm British, so I don't need to understand American taxes, even though when I started making money here. And then back then, you couldn't use things like TurboTax. I mean, you had to go to the accountant or there was like an HR block on the corner. I, I found it totally confusing and overwhelming. I was just used to the British system. So I just thought, I don't want to deal with this. I stuck my head in the sand. And lo and behold, what happened? What do you think happened? Didn't turn out well. I started getting letters from the IRS. Taxes due. What's what is this? What is this? I thought to myself. Didn't pay penalty upon penalty upon penalty that turned into thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in penalties. What did I learn from this? Joanna, you're a total fool. Don't be an ostrich. Stick your head in the sand. Absolutely ridiculous. Take responsibility. Take financial responsibility. Don't do stupid things. So what do I do now? Well, now I work for tax attorneys. <laughs> I have the crypto tax certification from the Crypto Tax Summit, which maybe you want to come meet me in Miami in May, May 19th and 20th, CryptoTaxSummit.com, which Mark J. Kohler and Matt Sorensen teach. And it is just such a great event. I am blessed because I get to be the a virtual host for the event because the one we did in January we had like close just under 700 people registered from around the US and then we have 250 people live and it's really cool so I'm there live at the event and uh, but I get to do the online part of, of things and, and everyone there's amazing crypto miners and NFT influencers and maybe you come join me in, in Miami Beginning of 2021, January 2021, I said to myself, even a little bit prior to that, I said, I want to get really financially literate. Now, going back many years ago, I worked in corporate finance and investment banking in the UK. I worked, I had a, a stint at JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs. I wanted to be a stockbroker, but I just was too sensitive to be able to handle the pressure of that then. I didn't have the life skills to do it and so fast forward in time to now 
I work again in finance, but in the retirement sector, I work for directedira.com. I get to speak to people every day about how they are investing, how they are saving for their retirement. And that has been incredible to speak to people who are focused on having a savings and wealth building mindset rather than being an ostrich, sticking their head in the sand and a debting mentality. Yes, I used to be a debtor. I used to have a whole load of credit card debt and take ridiculous risks in business. And it was very, very painful to go from making multiple six figures as an intuitive coach and a best-selling author, award-winning author, to going six figures in debt. Horrible, horrible, horrible experience. So fast forward in time to today, I now am very fortunate. I have, I own my home, which I never thought would be possible. For some people that's normal. It's like, oh, okay, you own your home. But like for me to own my home and I love the home I'm in, to have assets, things that I love, different um, antiques and art and, and just things that I have collected and slowly collect and also that I have investments and I finally have a crypto Roth IRA as well, which I'm very, very proud of too, because I was never a saver. My mom used to say to me, Joanna, save for a rainy day. And I think, oh gosh, mom, this is just so ridiculous. So I just wanted to just give you a little bit of a sort of a perspective on things of my financial journey and where I am now. And, and my next phase is that I have my crypto Roth IRA. I see all these people going into IRA LLCs, doing a mixture of from real estate investing and even tax liens and promissory notes and crypto mining and and precious metals, like they just mix everything together in their IRA LLC. It's really, really cool. So that's something that I look forward to learning more from, from Matt and, and Mark in my journey. So let me go ahead and share my screen. I want to talk to you about oh, my experience with Coin Tracker here. And you're just gonna see it in a snapshot here. Boom, here it is. Um, so some of you have um, been connected with me on my channel for um, a while. And um, some of you, you're maybe you're just, you're just seeing this for um, a, first, a first time. And um, so I just want to explain this to you. <laughs> well, now you know on, my, uh, on, on what I went through in crypto. But you can see here that I did, I did, and I didn't know exactly how many. This is why it was it was great to do this. So I did 962 trades in 2021. I had bought in advance. I like prepaid, so I ended up getting twenty dollars off on the Coin Tracker, you know, tax filing uh, software. And they have different levels of it. Like the year before, I on 2020, I'd done so many less trades. So I think I paid then, I can't remember exactly. What was it? I paid 60 something the year before. This time, I think I paid like 170, was it 179 for it? 169, something around that, but around $170 I paid for the coin tracker. And then I see for people who haven't filed now, I noticed it was around $20 more. And then if you go for every like thousand transactions more, they, they charge a little bit more. But I feel like it's ridiculously amazing value because if like what happened for me on my tax return is, see, on the IRS form 8949, I ended up with almost 75 pages <laughs> and it integrated perfectly it integrated perfectly with my TurboTax. I did the TurboTax. I've used TurboTax for several years. It was just, oh, it was lovely. It was delightful. I'll share a couple of things that were challenges as well. But what would I give my experience of filing my taxes with CoinTracker? 10 out of 10. Loved it. So good. Happy, happy little camper am I. Um, so yeah, 962 transactions because... I was doing uh, a lot of um, 
swing trading, day trading last year. I was in and out of stuff. For those of you who've been in crypto for a while, I mean, this time last year, it, it was wild. It was a wild ride. It was exciting. I mean, it was actually unnerving for me because everything just kept going up. And at one point, I was so far beyond in profit. I was up in, I think at one point, like we have to look at my older videos. I think I was like up to almost 130,000 in my portfolio. Then at that point, I had really great gains. And then the market crashed and then I waited for it to come back. And then I took profits. Um, and then with those profits, went and bought a home. And then I came back into the market again in January 20. 21 and I'd held on to some little bits of stuff. Sorry, in 2022, January 2022, I came back in. So you can see here um, my capital gains overall from how did things go for me in crypto last year. And I wasn't trading with massive amounts of money. I mean, I wish I, you know, what was happening to the money that uh, I was making, I was just like, okay, well, I'm gonna take some risks here. I mean, sometimes I look back, I go, wow, that was crazy. Some of the stuff I did, it was a bit kamikaze. It's like when you don't know what you don't know. And uh, yeah, if I had gone out at the top, I guess those gains would have been more like 80, 85,000. I would have done over double. But I didn't. So you've got to just be grateful again. You know, that's another whole conversation about knowing when to get out. And then I had my harvestable tax losses. So, you know, there was some stuff you can see my losses there were $15,177.70 because, <laughs> and okay, so uh, Kuchi Sensei, um, and uh, oh my gosh, there's, um, crypto silver caravan a few of uh the brilliant people in the crypto angel community said to me joanna anything that says safe in it probably isn't safe you know like safe moon and safe mars uh, i mean there's videos of me where i said i would never do it and then i guess i somehow i got caught in the frenzy of it i went to safe mars i went to safe moon i went to pig i went into lion there's some of these things they pump temporarily and then they crashed and they burned so i got really really burned on some of these memes and these liquidity pools of oh just like magic money you just stick your money in and you make money not thinking about well it's a liquidity pool someone can just go and pull their funds out and it's not regulated. So I was doing that all on Gate.io and I just did a video recently on how US citizens are banned from Gate.io. You can watch that separately. So gains in the end ended up being $26,102.61 for doing all of those trades. Oh my gosh, what a lot of work that I did there with that. It, it, was, I, uh, it was such a journey. One of the biggest things I think I learned spiritually was not to be greedy. I, I, didn't, I thought, oh, I'm a spiritual person. No, I've written a book on this stuff here. I'm going to flash my book for a second. Big, oh, it will show up on the screen here. Big miracles. There was spiritual rules, ultimate success. Oh, I'm such a spiritual person. Oh, wow, Joanna, you are actually quite greedy sometimes. So uh, uh, not anymore, I'm not. I got out of the markets for a while and I had to go cool off for a couple of months because I'm not going to trade if I'm going to emotionally trade. So this was a delight using Coin Tracker because... I got to see, um, you know, every step of the way when I was upside down or when I was up in something. And it just helped me really to gain perspective. So like I said, this software was phenomenal for me, especially for the amount of transactions because, um, yeah, I just didn't know how I was going to handle it. I had quite a bit of anxiety of what was going to occur and it went smoothly with my return. Now, one of the things I want to just show you to make you aware of here is need review. Now, the ones that needed review, um, when they integrated into TurboTax, was it, it was like, um, oh my gosh, which tokens was it? I'm trying to remember, but they were ones that were like 0 0.00000047. Which is basically like nothing. So it like it couldn't understand. Software didn't seem to understand that it was 
zero. It was just like very, very obscure. But a lot of the cryptos that are there, that's not gonna happen. Now, I do wanna just share a negative just to show other side of things that what Coin Tracker did resolve. When I was doing all that trading last year, and like I said, I was in the farm animals and the, the safe tokens, which weren't safe at all, um, on Gate.io. At that point, Gate.io did, there wasn't a, a, like a good integration. And I think what happened is, I was annoyed at the time. I was like, oh, why is it integrating? Why is the price wrong on Lion? Once, why is the price wrong on Pig? Why is the price wrong on, um, what was it? Floki, Floki Inu. I was like, ah. But Gate.io added a ridiculous amount of tokens. And here's my thinking on this, is that, and this is where I think Cointracker did a phenomenal job, is that, Again, Gate.io was adding so many tokens, so many of them. And I just want to show you this. Look, if we go over here to crypto and we go over, this is, take a look at this, exchanges. Here we go. And we're going to go to spot exchanges. You see, I want you to understand the context of this. Look here, under coins and pairs, Gate, 1,360 coins and 2,573 pairs. What a nightmare that must have been for the coin tracker um, developers, because you've got to integrate the API. You've got coin tracker software speaking, say, to Gate.io. You've got coin tracker speaking, say, to Binance, to Coinbase, to look, to Gemini, to, to Kraken, to, to Bit, Bit, Bittrex, Bitfinex, like all these different exchanges. And you know, when you look at, say, something like Coinbase, I mean, Coinbase, there was a point where they just had really mostly around 25 to 30 tokens, and then they started to add a whole load more, and this passed it up to 167. Um, even Binance, you know, it's been around a long time, has, look, 364 coins. But again, with Gate, I mean, that's an astounding amount. Max Global, huge amount of tokens there, 1,331. KuCoin, 627. So I, I just think that that must have been quite a nightmare. And so there were certain things because of those changes that the developers probably couldn't keep up with it. But they did in the end. You know, I remember getting an email from Cointracker saying, you need to go and update all your seed phrases, your secret keys, reset the keys. So I did that for date. And then everything ran beautifully for me for filing my return and um so like i said i had a great experience and if i had gone and hired a cpa to do this and to figure out um what my gains were what my losses were and to put that onto 75 pages <laughs> for that form 8949 it would have cost me thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and there could have still been errors on it because I have hired CPAs in the past that have totally messed up my tax returns that's why I do my returns myself now because I want to be in control of it so I just feel that this is such a phenomenal software cointracker.io I highly recommend it like I said I mean I've just had such a good experience with it and um, you let me know in the comments what you think. Have you used Cointracker.io? Do you have any questions about it? I'm happy to answer them. I didn't get paid anything um, for sharing this. Um, they, they haven't sponsored me or anything like that. I just, I'm a raving fan. I'm a raving fan uh, of them. And they turned my um, annoyances and my grievances that I had uh, into absolute delight and I also you know I feel like gosh I mean I can get a little bit impatient at times and I, I did not take into consideration I didn't understand how hard it was for the developers to handle the explosive growth of crypto and how many new coins and trading pairs were being added so kudos to them for such a great experience and integrating so beautifully with TurboTax and I, uh, yeah, 10 out of 10, 10 plus I give to Cointracker. All right, 
I'm Joanna Garsley. This is Crypto Angel Network, and I look forward to connecting with you next time.